Hi, welcome to Microbiology Mentor. Today we are discussing about the mycetoma which comes under subcutaneous mycosis. Subcutaneous means it primarily involves dermis and subcutaneous tissue. So it is primarily involving the pathology is of dermis and subcutaneous tissue and other clinical condition with subcutaneous mycosis are sporotrichosis, another Im important topic and chromoblastomycosis and at the same time it is a it is a neglected tropical disease it is one of the neglected tropical disease so let's go further so this was in ancient time called madura fort because this is quite old the history of this clinical condition is quite old because it was first described in chennai which is which was then called uh, madras so let's see the etiological agent this mycetoma can be caused either by fungus or bacteria which are members of actinomyces what is actinomyces these are filamentous bacteria so these resemble like fungus but they are not fungus they are bacteria so it is very clear here from here that mycetoma are caused by both fungus and actinomyces when the causative agent is fungi it is called eu mycetoma eu mycetoma so remember it is eu mycetoma it is fungi so it is eu mycetoma so a mnemonic will be you just put one more horizontal line here and it will be eu mycetoma and if if the causative agent is bacteria it is called as actinomycetoma what are actinomyces actinomyces actually is a big family of bacteria which are branched filamentous like in morphology and it includes many members both aerobic ones and ana uh, sorry but both anaerobic as well as aerobic ones and among those the important one which are the causative agents of mycetoma like conditions are actinomyces nocardia actinomadura and streptomyces so let's see in detail the the causative agent of condition of eu mycetoma where the where the fungi is a causative agent where the fungi is a causative causative agent e you see it is as f eu mycetoma caused by fungus so the important fungi are madurula mycetomatis Seud alsericia boidi, Madurla cresei, and Scidosporium apiospermum. So these are the four common fungal species causing EU mycetoma. Okay. Among actinomycetomas, the important ones are Nocardia brasiliensis, Streptomyces, and Actinomadura species. Okay. So let's move ahead what are the clinical feature of this condition so, so the disease start with a history of trauma the incubation period is from three months to at least nine years even okay so with this long history the patient most of the time forgets about the history of trauma but the disease begins as a firm, small, painless, subcutaneous plaque or nodule on the lower extremity, usually foot, because this is the area which is most of the time exposed and the agriculture worker or farmer is actually most of the time barefitted and there is a history of trauma and after that, this condition occurs. So, at the time at the beginning it is painless subcutaneous plaque or nodule which during the course of illness progress to swollen condition with in duration which is hardening with multiple discharging sinuses so there is presence of multiple discharging sinuses you can see here there are multiple discharging sinuses the sinuses are at different stages of healing so some of them can be healed some of them are still healing or some of them are healed and there may be a induration present so and what is another clue to the diagnosis is there is the discharge if 
present which is most of the time present actually contains grains so they are gritty like discharge present the patient will complain that there is some discharge with gritty sensation so these discharge or grains actually contains large aggregate of the pathogen what it is it is containing the true pathogen either fungi or bacteria itself so let's see about the spread so the disease this condition is spread locally so it involves dermis subcutaneous tissue but it rarely disseminates so it rarely disseminate and if it spreads it it spreads through lymphatics it it spreads through lymphatics and it does not or it rarely in spread through hematogenous so hematogenous uh, spread although discussed by some of the researcher but they are rare closely resemble the other subcutaneous mycosis that is sporotrichosis we will be this is also important and we will be discussing this some other day so chronic cases in some of the chronic cases the sinus tract may become hard and swollen and ultimately may sometime erode the overlying bone and give uh, and complicate to a condition when it becomes osteoma for diagnosis what we do there are different modalities available in which there is direct microscopy is one okay direct microscopy is one and it is actually quite quite easy to directly visualize the grains because the di diagnosis is made by the visualization of grain and how it is made the grains are collected between two slides and it is crushed okay it is crushed between the two slides that it is crushed between the two slides and then it is visualized by performing some stain so what what stain we perform we do we do a gram stain so gram stain it it helps to 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 pinpoint or to detect the bacterial causes because in gram stain the bacterial causes like nocardia or actinomyces will be stained gram positive and it will be present as a branched filamentous appearance okay it will be branched filamentous appearance whereas if you are suspecting the causative agent as a fungi then you require certain special staining to stain the fungal which which can be either pass that is periodic acid skiff test reagent or gms gms stands for gomoris methamine silver gomoris methamine silver both are are used to stain the fungal wall so apart from that this what you can do you can visualize the uh, uh, the granules using test 20% koh will clear the uh, the cellular debris and it will make the fungal hyphae more visible at the same time you are able to see a distinct color of the granules so this color on the basis of this color of the granules previously in the old time it was classified as the causative agent so it you can see here that different etiological agent have different color the fungal granules take darker comparatively you you can make a note that here the fungal granules make a darker like black or brown in color whereas the bacterial granules are comparatively white or yellow in color exception is to the this one that is actino madura palatri which is red in color apart from those they are either white or yellow whereas eu mycota that is the fungal causative organisms are either black brown or sometime white to yellow color apart from uh, these two modalities histopathology can be done but when it is done when the when uh, the draining material cannot be obtained and uh, at that time uh, what it is required a punch biopsy is required and you do a hne that is hematoxylin eosin stain of those prepared slide of the biopsy and what you 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 visualize there when you observe you see a separative granuloma which is surrounding the grain and what it is composed of it is composed the granuloma is composed of neutrophil it is composed of neutrophil it is not composed of 
lymphocyte and you you will be able to visualize grains which are actually the aggregates of the fungi or bacteria or the causative organism itself arranged radially in the form of hyphae here you can see a light brown to dark brown colored grain or granules surrounded by the granuloma which is basically a lymphocyte okay this is what you can visualize in in a histopathological examination further uh, the other modality can be culture so culture can also be done but most of the time it is done to speciate what is the species which is responsible or what are what are the fungal or what what may be the bacterial etiological agent if you want to speciate it if you want to know what species are responsible then only you do a culture and for that you choose specific culture media according to the etiological agent like if you are suspecting a bacterial cause then you use the bacterial culture media like but but these are not routine culture media these are lonsine junction media then thioglycolloid broth columbia agar or brain heart infusion agar for bacterial etiological agent for fungal you use sebrodextrose agar and another chemix agar the treatment dif is different for different etiological agent so if you are confirmed that the case is eu mycetoma it it then then you need to do a surgery and followed by a keto prolonged ketoconazole therapy so most of the time they respond to a surgery and prolonged ketoconazole therapy and if it is a bacterial cause then it is treated medically by drugs like dapsone streptomycin or a 2 to 3 month course of rifampicin so so the treatment modalities are different so you clearly need to know the etiological agent so as to 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 plan your treatment thank you